Hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Maya lesson of um, uh, Maya lesson, the first Maya lesson of the Maya tutorial series. So today we're going to start up with an, a 3D software called Autodesk Maya, which is an industry industry leading 3D animation software, and uh, the popularity of it is going on and on. So you see movies like Shrek, you meet, you see movies like uh, Big Hero. All are be, uh, made on Maya. So we're going to start up with the basics of Maya so, uh, to get you started on this course. So first of all, we are going to look at the interface of Maya. And compared to other software, you can actually see that there are a lot of options in this software. So once you open up Maya, you actually get this, which is a 3D space. So uh, the, this actually this software actually has three axes. So it has X axis, Z, and Y axis accordingly. So in order to move the uh, area right here so this is my plane where I can make my things so if I were to hold my alt in my uh, keyboard and click and drag my left mouse button then I can actually click and move around my uh, 3d animation space so if I were to hold the middle mouse button and alt I can actually move around the plane just like that so now uh, I want to show you the tools on the left. These are the main tools that you actually see. So the, this is the selection tool, which you use to select the objects. This is the selection tool, brush tool, the scale tool, uh, rotate scale. And uh, you can actually see that this actually uh, shows it right here. This is the panel layout, and this is the four layouts, uh, which we're going to see in a bit. So first of all, there, I want you to know that there are multiple ways to model in Maya. So uh, first is the curves. We are not going to focus on curves right now. We are going to focus on polygons right now. Then for sculpting, we have some sculpting tools right here. For rigging tools is right here. There are some animations tool, uh, rendering tools where you can add in some lights, the effects uh, tools and so forth. So we're going to focus on the basics of Maya in this course. So in the modeling section, you can actually see that there are multiple menus right here as well. So now you can see an iteration of mon uh, menu right here. So if I were to press rigging, you see the rigging related uh, menu just like that. And when you press animation, there's the animation menu right there. FX, you get the FX and rendering, you get the rendering. So there are a lot of tools right here in Maya. So we are just going to focus on the basic part. Here at the bottom, there's the uh, time slider for the basic animation process. So this is, we, uh, is something we're going to look at later as well. And if I were to uh, hold my space bar uh, when I'm here, so I'm gonna go to the selection tool, hold my space bar, you can actually see that I can see uh, all the options available in Maya, including file, edit, create, which is basically the same menu right here. So if I were to just press hold, uh, press space and hold, what actually it does is it shows me the top, uh, the front and side view of the plane as well. So basically what uh, Maya is doing is that it is showing me the different perspective of the same tool. So what I can do is I can create a shape just like this. So if I want to create a shape, what I can do is I can create a shape just like this. And what I want you guys to do is before you create a shape, go to create, Go to polygonal primitives and make sure that interactive creation is on uh, so that I can click and drag the objects just like that. So I'm going to delete this out. So click and drag to adjust the shape according to your size. I can press the delete key on my keyboard to delete it. And for the cube, I can simply click and drag on one side, click and drag, and then it drags the top side. So if I were to press the space bar, I'm going to click and drag the cube just like this. And you can see that I can see the top view right here. The bottom part is uh, actually flat right now and if I were to pull this you can see that the shape actually shows on all the sides so in order to uh, zoom in and out I'm using my scroll mouse bar so by pressing alt I can move around just like this and this is where this is not a 3d space this is actually a, a top view 2d space so I can actually zoom in and out just like that so going on to the side over here uh, I'm working with polygons right now. So we are going to start up with polygonal modeling right here. So if I were to right click, you can see that I got some options right here. So this is what I'm uh, on by my selection tool right here. So what I can do is I can scale this out as you can see. So with the move tool, I can move this to the side. So I can just grab hold of the arrow or the middle mouse, uh, middle uh, area. And you can see that I can move the uh, move the 3d object around I can even rotate this so I can click and drag in a free fall or I can click and drag this little uh, circular uh, points right here just like that as well and as you can see the value actually changes so 
If I want to get everything into default, I can just go to the side right here in the channel box editor, as this is the channel box editor side. So I can press 0, 0, 0, uh, 0, 0, 0, scale is all one, and you can see that my object resets back into where I started it from. And this is the scale, I can scale it from either side, just like this, and I can increase and decrease the size just like this. And the scale actually changes accordingly. So I can press 1, 1, 1 to actually get back onto the same space as well. Similarly, I got my other shapes. So I got this shape right here. So I can delete this out. I got this shape right here as well. Uh, I got uh, this shape right here, uh, which is the plain object, just like that. I got my other shape, the donut-like shape right here. I got my pyramid-like shape, just like this, and I got my pipe-like shape. So I got different type of shapes, although we do not really need it, all of it, we can still utilize this out. So what I can actually do is, uh, in order to further modify these shapes, I can actually control its vertices and angles. So let's say I got a shape right here, I want to create more, uh, I want to give this a, of a feel. What I can do is I can right click, go to face. So if I were to select face and move this around, uh, you can see that I can actually uh, make changes to the face just like that. Uh, I can also go to vertices. So I can select the vertices right here and you can see I can select individual points of the object and I can move the object around. So let's say for example, where um, in the sphere where I have a lot of uh, vertices and so forth, uh, you can see that I can actually make quite a detailed adjustment just like that. And similar, similarly, I can go to edge, select the edge, uh, modify the edge right there. I can select the face and modify the face right there, just like that. So this is how you model in Maya, actually. You actually pull, push, extrude, and so forth to uh, create different models in Maya. So now on to the next part is um, this one. Let's say uh, I have a shape just like this. Uh, if I want to smooth this out, I can actually press um, 3, so that actually smooths out my shape, as you can see over here. Let's try this out with the other shapes as well. So there's my spear, there's my cube. I'm actually holding SIF to cre create a perfect cube right there. My perfect cylinder, and these ones, and so forth. So usually these are not smooth. Uh, so if I were to press 3, it actually smooths down my shape into a uh, different type, type of shape right there. So if I were to press tool, you can, tool, you can see that I can actually see the wireframe of the uh, regular object and the smooth down version of the same object just like that. If I were to press 4, I actually get the wireframe, I actually get to wireframe mode right there. If I were to press 5, then I get to the shaded mode. And if I press 6, then I can see the textures. So right now I don't have any textures, so I'm not being able to see textures right now. And if I were to press 7, then I actually get to the light mode and you cannot see anything. You see that everything is dark because I do not have any lights in the scene, just like that. So here you can see that I can press 6, 5, 4 and so forth. I can go, go around and create different shapes just like that. So for modeling, it is very good to start up with polygons first because that is very easy uh, to do so. And if you actually uh, press space, you go to different, um, let's say, uh, workspaces, you can also access the workspaces from here. So if I were to press this, you can see that the workspace appears there as well. And if I were to press this, the panel layout, the workspace goes there as well. And on the right side, there's the channel box editor, there's the modeling and toolkit, which you might want to uh, take a look at later on. And if I were to, let's say, double click on any of these tools, you can see that I get something called a tool setting where you can access more of the settings just like that. So I can go there, double click on the setting, and you see that I can access more settings right there. So on the top menu, don't forget that uh, this might be confusing to a lot of new Maya users. Uh, they might select animation and then, uh, so you might think that your options are not there. So it's actually right under your noses inside the modeling selection tool right there. So you can create a lot of my models. So this has been uh, the basic interface. Here again, this is the time slider for animation. Right now we have 120 frames uh, and roughly one 
uh, one second is 24 frames. Uh, so that's how you have to calculate animating in Maya. And this is the zoom in level of the time slider. So if I were to zoom this in, so this is uh, 30, 30 is the zoom level. So I, I can act, just see 30, uh, uh, 30, uh, let's say, uh, part of the time, time slider right there. I can move the time slider so I can see from 171 frame to 200 frame right there. And similarly, what I can do is I can zoom out or I can add in frames. So maximum time right now is 200. So if I want 1000, I just type it and press enter and you get that accordingly. So the zoom level is 200 and 1000. So if I were to press 100, the zoom level is 100. So you have to play around with the software to really get the feel of this. So we are going to start with organic modeling in our next lesson. Uh, so stay tuned as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.